everyone welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video today i have another happy home paradise challenge for us i don't know why i'm like obsessed with doing these but i'm literally obsessed with doing these i actually got this idea from one of you guys on instagram today we're going to be trying to design some happy home paradise houses using a color palette generator so it's going to be generating just super random colors and we're just going to have to take those colors and try to design a happy home paradise house based off of those it could be colors that totally don't go together it could just be anything and we're just gonna have to wait and see but before we get into it i do have a quick word from our sponsor toka life world ahem <clears throat> that's your cue wait what um didn't you know this video is sponsored by toka life world you're supposed to be showing them around hey no one sent me any emails i was just about to eat lunch but my lunch can wait come on guys toka life world is a sandbox game where you can do pretty much anything your heart desires this is the main hub with all these different districts to check out and explore you can go shopping go play some ping pong take a swim at watermelon wave club ride a roller coaster and don't forget to grab your free gift every Friday. You can also decorate houses and make each room super cute and fun. I love that you can design whatever you want and there's no rules. And yeah, that means I can have my toilet by the pool. If you want even more houses and furniture to decorate with, the Home Designer Dream Bundle comes with a ton of pre-existing content and is on a huge sale until the 28th. Don't forget to customize and make new characters. There's basically endless opportunities. I mean, like, look, I just made a little fairy. I also love to make up stories and skits. Just like, wait, is this a skit? Uh, yeah, you're a skit. Ah, oh, man. Well, is it a good skit? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, nice. I'm gonna go eat my sandwich now. You can download Toka Life World for free on the Apple Store, Google Play Store, and Amazon App Store. Okay, bye. Okay, thank you, Toka Life World, for sponsoring. Now let's get into it. So I'm gonna be using this website called Coolers or coolors, coolors, I don't know. It's this website that you can see here. It's basically just a color palette generator. We just basically hit the button and it's gonna give us a random color palette. And then we have to take those colors and put them into a build. So let's go ahead and start the generator and we'll see what we get. Okay, I clicked it, it's loading. Oh, wow, okay, this is a very um, neutral palette. Okay, I mean, I can work with this. Uh, let's go ahead and boot up Animal Crossing and we'll try to do something with this. The fact that I started recording this and my switch isn't even on, like I don't even have Animal Crossing booted up. It's just one of those days. Okay, so we have made it to Happy Home Paradise and look we have here. We have Whitney. Is she blue or is she white? Hmm, who knows? But I'm gonna try to find a villager who would work well with this palette. I'll also put the palette up on the screen somewhere for you so that you can also follow along and remember because i have it up on my other monitor so i can see it 24 7. but it's a lot of browns and like neutrals and then it kind of has like a little pinky color which kind of reminds me of apple but also is this ursula i feel like she would also work good because she's pink and she's got the brown hair okay what does ursula want oh she just wants to arrange flowers that's so sweet i want a ufo to come and build me a bigger buffer bod what? <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna go with Ursula. Yeah, okay. I've got my own ideas. I've got my own ideas. Now we have to pick a plot. And since there's kind of like a lot of browns, like this feels very natural, I think I'm gonna go for something with this, like kind of autumn grass maybe. So I am just gonna do the outside, but if I do find myself struggling, then we'll switch to the inside instead. I'll probably do an interior for the next color palette that we do because I do feel like it has a little bit more customization because you can do the wall and the floor and you can totally make that like one of the color palette colors. So we'll see how I do with the outside. You know, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna do the inside because this grass, it's not one of the colors. It's not even remotely close to one of the colors. So we're, we're going to stick with the inside. Sorry if I keep looking to this side. My color palette is on this other screen over here. But let's try to find something that matches one of the colors. We basically have just like 
almost black it's like super dark brown almost black and then the next one has like some green or olive undertones but it's like really dark brown i think i already said this i can't remember but these color palette colors are extremely specific so if animal crossing doesn't have anything with these specific colors i'm sorry it's <laughs> it's not under my control so we might not find something that matches exactly but we can find something pretty close and on top of all of this i have to still make it like cute looking so this is a real challenge okay so i think this is my pick for the wallpaper the pink kind of matches like the pinky that we have all the way on the very right it's called coral it's more of a coral pink but this is gonna have to be close enough and then i feel like the dark brown wood that's on the bottom matches the like kind of greenish brown wood that's on here but okay let's find a floor that also works okay so i'm going with this one i have been like testing out every single flooring in here and i just cannot find one that works but I'm gonna go with this. I feel like this matches the brown sugar color just a little bit like it's barely close enough so we're just gonna go with that and then I'm gonna make the room a little bit bigger not smaller definitely bigger and I'm gonna start looking for some furniture that's also gonna match these colors okay so I think I found something um I think that the elegant chair works like this is gonna be not the most amazing color palette combination ever but it's because i'm really limited okay so i think i'm gonna go with the elegant set and that's just what we're gonna do and i'm gonna customize them all to look like that i'm gonna do this light brown and then the pink roses this is not the kind of pink that i was looking for either but we already messed up with the wallpaper the wallpaper is not like a coral either i don't even have like sables patterns that i could look at to try to like help me out with that and i don't have any custom designs that are like that so it, it's just <laughs> it's just an l all around honestly like i said we're not gonna find exact matches but gotta work with what we got <laughs> this is looking like a grandma's house <laughs> oh goodness i mean it's a it's a vibe maybe grandma chic is coming back right right guys okay i kind of want some little like nightstands let's see if we can find something we might just have to say oh well and put wood that doesn't really match this because otherwise i feel like i'm not gonna have that much variation in the woods and there's four browns like i should be having that variation you know or we might just have to go with black and we'll just say you know what forget it well it's just black <laughs> maybe that's how my eyes see it you know we'll just do that because we need we need something i feel like this is looking too pink too pink so we need some other colors going on here let's start sectioning off some areas i definitely want some little dividers going on just so we separate the rooms and everything you know we still gotta make this a nice ish happy home paradise house so okay so here's her little dresser and then we'll also put the mirror in here let me swap these actually and let's see do we have room for like a plant or something does a pl does is there a plant that even fits in with this color palette actually yeah because if i don't let myself do any other colors like not even the green leaves on something then yeah we can't have any plants <sighs> wow well i could maybe do this decayed tree <laughs> oh that's so sad though let's start thinking of a backstory here for a reason that ursula's house looks like this <laughs> maybe she used to be a witch but now she's kind of like a retired grandma witch you know so she's got the grandma aesthetic but there's a couple of witchy remnants from her past as well like this tree what is it doing growing from her house out of the carpet i don't know but it's there okay so this classic picture i feel like is more accurate to the brown sugar color that we have so i'll definitely incorporate this same with this like unglazed dish set i feel like this is pretty good on this side i'm gonna put the living room so i guess we can do a tv because we're i guess we're saying that this is black so black is allowed so we can put a tv i'm gonna put this little retro tv even though the front of it is white but this is the only thing okay this is the only thing it just fits and i also couldn't find like the regular tv so i have to use that one <laughs> i'll put the dishes on here as well and this little mushroom stool can go kind of in front of this couch like it's a little footrest this can go in the corner 
I'll have some leaves over here. And then there's like some more spooky items that I kind of picked out, like the spinning wheel and this like butter churn. Like why does she have a butter churn? I don't know. There we go, that's how it's looking. I'm gonna keep looking for some more items. Honestly, this is what's taking up the most time is just like looking at items and then looking to my left and being like, okay, does this fit in the color palette? No, okay, let's keep looking. We'll do a little phone. The phone can go over here. Actually, no, let's put it in the bedroom. Oh, and there's another phone. This is like the coral that I was more so thinking of. Okay, she's got two phones. And then I've got this little peach and I got this freaking bug just to make it like even more spooky and creepy. And honestly, I'm, I'm so tired of trying to find items. Like she's good with furniture like she's fine let's try to find some rugs and then we'll do like the wall stuff and then i'm, I'm freaking done with this color palette i want to do another one <laughs> but let's see if there's coral oh yeah that shell rug is gonna be perfect let's get rid of this let's put the shell one okay now let's do wall stuff this is the most exciting part this is what i like the best but i feel like because of this freaking color palette it's gonna be more difficult for me so i'm just gonna try my best so i got this pink lamp and we'll do this like in this kind of vanity area and then i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this brass color is pretty close to our super dark brown like kind of greenish greeny one i really want to do these floral ones but uh I don't think that i can they don't really match i could get away with the pink there's a lot of white but you know what? I think we deserve it. I really think that we deserve it. So I'm just gonna put those, uh, let's put them like above her bed. Okay, and out of all of these, I think that this one fits the most, even though it's just like, kind of like a little bit random looking. I can't find things that match. I just have to make it black or pink. And it's not even the right shade of black or pink. I'm gonna put this key holder here. I feel like the broom and dustpan is like a no brainer. Like I have to put that, right? Let's just put the dark brown and you know what if it doesn't match exactly it's fine i'm sure you guys can agree that this definitely has to be put in this room i'm also gonna put this deer head and i think i can get away with these tree branch wreaths and also these paintings i feel like fit very nicely with the color palette so i'm gonna do those too i feel like this gyroid is also pretty good like in terms of the color palette it's kind of it's a little it's close enough to the brown sugar so I'm gonna put that one. And then just so it's not alone, I'm gonna put this pink one next to him. And honestly, I'm done. <laughs> honestly, I'm done. I could put more wall stuff, but I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I have to think of a name. Um, I'm just gonna name it uh, Pain. This has multiple meanings. One, the pain that I've been going through trying to follow this color palette. Two, she used to be a witch. I don't know what kind of stuff that involves. I don't know what she's up to. And number three, if she's a grandma, she maybe has some back pain or something. So kind of covers all those bases. Okay, let's take a look at this. Pain. <laughs> Ursula's pain. So yeah, this is my best attempt at this color palette. It, it This is really hard. I don't like it when there's like four different shades of brown. I definitely don't want to do that again oh what a stunning shot what a stunning shot mm. i mean i feel like i did okay i did decently okay i just really didn't have a wall that was like this coral color so that kind of threw it off i had to go with more of like a cool tone pink but whatever you know i just want to move on to the next one okay so we're back on the color website and to generate a new palette from this screen all you do is press the space bar so that's just what i'm gonna do if we get something that has like four different shades of the same color i'm doing a new one okay you can't be mad at me for that. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, this is so much better to work with. We have white, thank you, thank you. That's gonna be so much better. And we have green, so we can do a lot of plants and stuff like that. Okay, yes, I'm really excited for this one. Um, I'm gonna keep working, Lottie. I got some color palette vacation homes to do. Okay, so we have some worthy sacrifice material already. We have, I think this is Cobb. He's two different shades of green. They're not exact, but hey, it's two different shades of green, which is what we have. And then we also have this guy. I also forget his name, but he's just red. Okay, I think as much as Cobb would be really good, his colors aren't exact, exact, really. So I'm gonna go with this guy because he's just red and that, I mean, he's like pretty much almost identical to this like shade of red that we got going on. So Biff, 
you're the winner here you're the winner but i'm not gonna give you whatever you want i'm gonna do my own ideas sorry okay so let's just pick any old plot i'm just gonna go with this one because there's no villager on it i'm just gonna keep doing the interiors i just feel like that's better again gonna go through the same exact process really i'm gonna look for the wallpapers and the flooring first and then we will adjust everything else so yeah we have a lot of options we could do something white we could do something red we could do something um green and also i feel like this black coffee color is gonna throw us off because it's not black it's not brown it's not blue i feel like it's kind of like a really dark black blue so unless we find some things that are exactly like that i feel like that's also going to throw us off and i might just say you know what we'll just we'll just say that that's black like before but yeah i'm just gonna look through these see what we can do and i'll be back okay so here we out i know that this has a lot of other colors like these fireworks but this is the only thing that i've found so far that is giving me that like blue black kind of color and i honestly think we're gonna have a hard time finding that so we need to have it like in the wallpaper or the flooring. So I'm gonna try to do this. Okay, so for the floor, I'm going with this white um, flooring. And then I think I'm gonna make this like a balcony. So I do wanna do like an accent wall. I think I'm gonna do this brick. Now I'm just gonna count it as red. The shade is not exact, but I'm gonna count it just cause I want this to be like the, ex like the exterior of a house or an apartment or something. So I feel like this match is really good. And then since we're already on here, let's just, I know it's kind of out of order, but let's just try to do some of the wall stuff. Cause I know that's gonna be a little bit tricky. I'm trying to think like what goes on the outside of a house, you know? And there's not a lot of items for that. I feel like there's not that much, especially if it's an apartment. It's usually just like a sliding door and like what else? Like maybe some lights. So we're probably just going to have to make do with a lot of white stuff, which is fine. You know, whatever, whatever we can manage to fit, I'm not going to be upset. And then I'm going to use this floral swag because I'm, I'm going to say that green shade is pretty close to our acid green, maybe. Maybe he's got a security camera. Okay, so I'm going to say that that's done. I'm not going to mess with that wall anymore. Now we go on to the tricky part, which is like trying to make this look like a balcony. We could do something with these counters you know like something like that let's see what other options we have though okay so here are my other options we can do this plant partition right and now it works perfectly because it has the white and the green i do like the like whatever this is the brick thing because you can put stuff on top of it which you can't do with that so yeah same with this um like partition fence thing can't put stuff on top of it so i think i'm gonna just go with the little plant partition because if we're gonna put something that you are not able to put items on top of we might as well have like two different colors going on and it's you know like really cute and everything and i'm trying to figure out how this is gonna work <laughs> this doesn't look right okay so this is what i think i'm gonna go with we're doing the fence most of the way around but in this middle area we have like a little plant partition and then i'm trying to see if we could do like maybe like a little barbecue counter you know what i mean or something like that like on the end here i'm also going to get rid of this just so i can put like the second one over here and let's see if i can find a barbecue thingy yeah here we go we got a nice red barbecue and then for chairs and stuff we really just got to see what color options we have i can always go with like those beach chairs i feel like those are pretty fitting for a patio anyways guys i don't know i've been, <laughs> I've been looking at different chairs for so long now i feel like nothing matches these greens and i'm just gonna have so once again just be like you know what screw it i i think i'm just gonna go with these vine hanging chairs i feel like those are i don't know i just like them anyway so we're just gonna go with that and then i feel like this shade was kind of close to like the avocado shade like it's slightly more brown but it's it's at least somewhat similar to me it looks like the avocado green so i'm also gonna put that so i'm gonna use these little stools as like side tables for those chairs and i guess we could put a side table for the couch as well so let's try to find some miscellaneous items and see if we can find something that matches. What are we missing? I feel like we have a okay amount of red. We could do a little bit more red. We could do some of these instant noodles. <laughs> or let's do the strawberry soda. That's a lot cuter than a side table with instant noodles on it. <laughs> let's also do some cherry speakers since this is like a, 
you know, like a patio, there's fireworks, maybe they're having a get together, stuff like that. Maybe somebody is reading a book. We'll do a little book over here. And then we'll do some white bottles. These could be like drinks or whatever by the barbecue area. Ooh, we could do this soup. Let's do this. This matches pretty nicely. And then lastly, some flowers. And I think let's see if there's some sort of rug that could match everything. Oh yes, there's an avocado mat. It's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, I'll also do a red one kind of like under here. Okay. Yep, that, I'm I'm calling it there. Honestly, I'm calling it there. This challenge is way harder than I thought it would be. Like I said, it's just because these colors are so specific and Animal Crossing is not going to have all of these. I'm pretty sure Animal Crossing, like as I've seen, as I've been scrolling through all these different like variations and stuff, they have like their color palette that they kind of stick to for everything. They don't have like a million different shades of green. They kind of stick to like, oh, light green, dark green, you know, maybe like this little avocado green here and there. So especially if there's like kind of darker colors, that's not really going to be in here because Animal Crossing is like pretty bright. They have like pretty saturated colors. So, okay, this place needs a name. Um, Let's just call it the 4th. Maybe it's the 4th of July. I don't know. All right, Biff, <laughs> how's it looking? This is pretty good though. This wallpaper honestly came in clutch because I don't know if I would have been able to find like this black coffee color. Oh, what a wonderful shot. Yay. Oh, this is nice. This is not that bad. Oh, okay. This wasn't, this was pretty good, honestly. But yeah, the wallpaper definitely came in handy for getting that like dark blue, black kind of color. Okay, so we're going to do one more house and then I'm going to get going. So we're here on the website. I'm going to press space, get a new one. And again, I'm not afraid to re-roll these if it looks too difficult. Mm, we got that freaking coral color again. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm gonna re-roll it. Yeah, I can't see myself finding some of these colors. Okay, let's do it again. Absolutely not. I feel like this one is cute. I feel like this one won't be that bad. We'll do this one. Yeah. Okay, here's our next one. Now to find a villager that's gonna match these colors. Um, this ostrich? Honestly? Either this ostrich or actually no, because I want to do hop. I want to do Hopkins without being like restricted. So I think I'm gonna go with Sandy here because she's orange and she's even got like the blue eyeshadow and the blue shirt to match our blues. Okay, so here we are once again, same process. Let's try to see if we can get some good flooring and wallpaper going first before we get into anything. Okay, so oddly enough, I think this snowflake wall is perfect. I think it has. A pretty similar dark blue at the top and then it fades into our light blue like it's actually really good i mean i'm gonna have to figure out how to make this wintry while also incorporating yellow and orange but that's why that's why they call it a challenge kids that's why they call it a challenge all right so i think i'm just gonna go with this dark floor just to keep like the cool themes because i was about to do a yellow floor but it just was too weird, I feel like. Let's start working on the furniture. Okay, so I actually think that this wooden set is gonna be good because this blue that I can customize it as is pretty decent. I think this bed is also perfect because it has the yellow and orange um, little bed sheet thingy. It does have red, but I'm gonna excuse it because otherwise it's honestly, it's so perfect. Okay, so I'm thinking that this is gonna be a kid's room. Um, maybe this is in, you know, the family house and this is just the kids room that we're doing. This is, uh, Sandy's room and Sandy wanted a winter theme. I don't know. Where do ostriches live? I'm assuming somewhere hot and sandy. So, oh, San that's why her name is Sandy. So maybe Sandy wanted something of more of a dream, something more of a dream where it's cool all the time and snowy and stuff. So that's why she has kind of like a wintry room. Okay, so that's kind of just like the general arrangement. Maybe I'll do this in the corner instead. I'm gonna add in some yellow with this tulip surprise box. Yes, it does have a little bit of green, but as we do more and more houses, I care less and less. We got some spooky pumpkins. 
I don't know, maybe just Sandy really likes pumpkins. Actually, I'll do a mushroom platform as the nightstand instead of the blue nightstand. I feel like that's really cute. Okay, so scratch that. We're doing a lily pad table. And I think you know where I'm going with this. I think you know where I'm going with this. Boom. Froggy chair. I finally, finally found a way to incorporate it. It's about freaking time. There we go. Froggy chairs. I'm going to start doing some wall mounted things because I feel like we're missing like black items and i can definitely do that with like tvs and like a, like not appliances but you know what i mean so let's put a tv on the wall over here we also have the orange clock which can go above the bed i feel like the light blue of this multiplication table thing is pretty good yeah it has other colors but again i'm kind of done caring about that so we'll just we'll just toss it in these orange and black little thingies are also perfect I don't know why there's like Halloween and also like winter and also like flowers. I don't know what Sandy is into. This is Sandy's room and you know, you're gonna have to ask her any questions because I don't have the answer for you. Okay, and then we can do some of these like starry garland lights all around the room since they're yellow. We can do this other TV. I don't know why there's two TVs. Ooh, definitely gyroids. I feel like there's a lot of options in here too. Let's go with this little orange guy. These can be like, oh, these can be like figures. Yeah, like like collectibles that Sandy has. Okay, this is perfect. Go with this blue. I feel like this is pretty good too. Oh, and this is perfect. It has yellow and blue, a little bit of green, but that's okay. We'll do this one. This one is also perfect yellow and orange. I'll do this blue one. Again, it's like two different shades of blue and I feel like they match pretty nicely. And then lastly, I'm going to do this one that's all black because I feel like we need that. I think I want to put like a little bench underneath the TV. Okay, I'm going to do this outdoor bench with orange and blue. But thankfully for once, I feel like I have a lot of options as opposed to very few options. Okay, and lastly, I think we just need some miscellaneous items to go on top of the table and the dresser. I'm going to do this little flower mirror and this is going to go on top of the wardrobe. Maybe Sandy is having a little orange smoothie today here at the table. We'll put that there. We're gonna do this lamp that has a black lampshade. I just put that over there. A star clock in orange to go on this dresser as well. The rubber ducky, yes. I have to do the rubber ducky. Like, I just have to. We can do this blue piggy bank. I feel like this is so cute. I used to have a piggy bank in my room growing up a lot, so I feel like every kid's room needs to have a piggy bank just in my humble opinion. And then let's do this little painting set because it has like this little yellow cup. We can put that here. Like some crafts are being done. Same with this modeling clay. This is pretty close to our light blue. So there's that table. And I, yeah, I think, I think this is done. Yeah, this is, I think this is my favorite one. I just love it so much. The colors match and like Sandy matches too, like perfectly almost. Oh, we got to come up with a theme with a name. Um, I'm just going to call it my room as in Sandy's room, not my room. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is so cute. I love this one the most. Maybe this was more just like in my element. Like it was kind of a little bit Kit Cory. You know, we had like yellow, yellow and blue and stuff like that. So yeah, this was definitely more in my elements. This is very nice. Sandy, you match so perfectly, like so perfectly. I can't believe it. I think I picked out some decent villagers for all of our little color palettes today. Like they were all pretty good. They all matched pretty nicely. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite though. Definitely my favorite. So that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This was definitely a challenge. Like I think this was the most challenging challenge that I've ever done in Animal Crossing. So let me know how you liked it. If you end up doing this, definitely tag me so I can see your color palette, Happy Home Paradise Homes. I would love to see what kind of colors you end up getting and how you end up making it work because it's it's really hard. It's really hard. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Toka Life World and download it for free if you're interested in that. Follow me on social media, all that kind of jazz if you want to check me out. Uh, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.